स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज वासुदेव पंडा वेलकम टू मास्टर पिंड एस बाय पंडा सर ओके सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द सेंटेंस इन आवर आफ्टरनून क्लासेस हां ग्रामर क्लास यू नो ओके एंड आई एम थिंकिंग ऑफ मेकिंग सम वीडियोस फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट टू थ्री क्लासेस सो इफ यू यू नो वांट टू स्टडी यू नो व्हाटएवर यू वांट यू जस्ट लीव मी अ कमेंट एंड keep watching till the uh, end of the video because lots of things are there i have to tell lots of things today about sentences and their formation so let us see what is a sentence what is a sentence you know sentence while we are studying sentence spontaneously the things uh, about what uh, syntax comes to our mind so sentence is a group of words guys sentence is what sentence is nothing but it's a group of words arranged grammatically arranged grammatically to give a complete sense okay uh, to give a complete sense. Ends and it ends with a full stop, question mark, or exclamation mark. Remember this. This is the complete definition of sentence. Okay. So sentences. What do you think? What are the type of sentences? Uh, in my classes, normal class, regular classes, I ask the students. Tell me, what are the classification sentences? What are the type of sentences we get in English? What are the types of sentences? 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 What are the types two type english sentences are divided into two type what are those you know first one simple and multiple simple and multiple remember this simple sentences and multiple sentences so let's have an analysis of simple sentences and multiple sentences what is a simple sentence the sentence that is made up of a single clause What is the clause? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a question. Are there? I'll take. Uh, you know, I'll make a video on clause uh, separately. Keep watching. So, simple sentences are single sentences. So, remember, simple means single. So, simple sentences are single sentences. Okay. Multiple means more than one. Yes or no? Multiple means what? More than one. If the sentence consists of more than one clause, that is called your multiple sentence. And multiple can be divided into two. Multiple sentences are divided into two. What are those? Complex. Ah, uh, sorry, three. Complex. Compound and compound complex. Okay, complex, compound, and compound complex. Okay, you understood. Simple sentences are uh, made up of one clause. Multiple sentences. Made up of uh, more than one clause, and multiple sentences are divided into complex, you know, uh, complex, compound, and compound complex. Clear? Okay. Sim uh, let's have a discussion about simple sentence today. Simple sentence. This simple sentence, as you know, simple sentence are made up of one clause. This simple sentence can be categorized into. Five type, yeah, you are correct. Five type. What are those five type? Let us see. You know, statement or declarative sentence. What? Declarative number two. Interrogative. I N T. Interrogative. You can say question. Question number three. Imperative. Number four. Exclamatory. Number five, ah, uh, optative. I'll make uh, another video uh, related to all this. You know the structure of those sentences. About the structure of those sentences, uh, you know this video will be longer if I'll discuss uh, all the structure of these sentences. I'll tell only today what are these sentences are. So keep watching till the end. So as you know, simple sentences are divided into. Five type. Let us see the definition of simple sentences. Declarative sentence. Declarative sentence are those sentences that are made of one clause that ends with a full stop, and it tells about what a statement. It tells a statement. Okay, and it declares something as I'm a teacher. Yeah, simple statement. I'm a teacher. It, it is statement. You are a girl. You are boy. He is a boy. Ram is a teacher. What are these? These are your. Uh, statement or declarative sentence. The sun rises in the east. 
these are what okay your statement and they ends with what they end with a full stop okay next interrogative sentences interrogative sentences are those sentences that are used to ask question that are used to ask question prashnatmak vakya te eta gole sadharan vakya ha sadharan vakya au imperative adesh ba anugyatmak vakya exclamatory vishma suchak vakya optative kon pile optative ta hochi optative sentences are those sentences that you know which is of fear that can be which is of fear आशा जन को निजर इच्छा प्रकाश कर प्रार्थना कर जो वाक्य सब भाव में अपटेट सेन्टेन्स कह ना डेज नर्माली अपटेट सेन्टेन्स नट इन यूज सो वी आर टेकिंग अबाउट इंट्रोगेटिव सेन्टेन्स व्हाट आर इंट्रोगेटिव सेन्टेन्स इंट्रोगेटिव सेन्टेन्स एज आई हाव अलरेडी टोल यू इट्स आर यूज टू आस्क क्वेश्चन एंड दिज क्वेश्चन क्या भी डिवेड इंटू थ्री दिस नो क्वेश्चन डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन एंड व्हाट दिस नो क्वेश्चन डब्ल्यू एच क्वेश्चन एंड थर्ड क्वेश्चन or tal question very good okay next exclamatory sentences exclamatory sentences are those sentences and oh, okay i forgot one thing uh, one thing what is there that all the interrogative sentences and with a question mark or uh, interrogation mark mark of interrogation or you can say a question mark you can say and imperative sentence imperative sentence are those sentences that are used to uh, you know convey what uh, an order a request yes or no an order a request a suggestion etc like go there come here do the work uh, keep your shoes off uh, switch off the light these are what make uh, uh, yeah uh, these are what imperative sentences and some example of question question what uh, what's your name where are you from what are you doing now and uh, are you a girl are you a boy so these are what uh, example of question i'm a boy aren't i this is uh, example of tag question then exclamatory sentence exclamatory sentence are those sentences that uh, you know uh, normally express certain feelings certain feelings ah huh. What a scene! Yes. Wow, what a scene! How beautiful it is! Like this. So these are what exclamatory sentences and exclamatory sentences normally ends with a mark of exclamation. Clear? Okay. Next, optative sentence. I was telling optative sentences are those sentences that are used to convey wishes of prayer. May God bless you. Yeah. Ah, uh, so they can be combined with. exclamatory sentences that's why now they the grammar uh, grammatician whoever are there grammarians they are not adding these sentences because they they are part of what exclamatory sentences optative sentence ta actually kon hoichi ki ei vakya re mane misi jauchi optative sentence ta exclamatory vakya bismas jo vakya re misi jauchi tenu ajikale bahut byakaran bohi re era sab bo lekha ho ne bile hala to for your information i have told all those things so am bujhi parle interrogative sentence koile kon question prashna pochar jauthuba vakya imperative koile adesh diya jauthuba you know mata mat diya jauthuba ai bhale vakya tapare exclamatory hala bismas sujog vakya tapare optative hala amara ichha ba anugyatmak vakya ashirvadatmak vakya jo ra ko se bol iterative sentence eta thila you know simple sentence about yaar bisare yaar structure bisare ame next class le padiba then comes complex sentence pile complex complex koile kon jatil vakya complex hoile jatil vakya so what are complex sentence complex sentence here i have to tell you something about clause complex sentences are made up of two clause okay two clause one independent clause and a subordinate clause independent clause remember and a subordinate clause independent clause uh, all simple sentences are independent clause remember all simple sentences or single sentences are independent clause because it can convey the meaning itself so kon uh, pile one independent clause and one subordinate clause makes a complete sentence join with a subordinate conjunction okay join with a subordinate conjunction a patrons I'll not go to school. I'll not go to school. If it rains, look at this complex sentence. Then compound sentence. What is a compound sentence? Compound sentences are those sentences that are made up of two independent clauses. Two independent. That means if you join two simple sentences together, 
and you will put a conjunction, coordinate conjunction. Remember, uh, in the next uh, previous class, I told you, coordinate conjunction are those conjunction that are used to join two uh, clothes of equal rank, two words of equal rank, two phrase of equal rank, coordinate conjunction. Yes or no? So, that's why. Yeah, Rabi is my friend. And, uh, you know, Govind is my friend. Look at this. Uh, two uh, same sentences joined together with the help of a coordinate connection. This is what compound sentence. Very good. Jogi Kavacha. Duita Vakira Samara Jogi Kavacha. Tapahela compound complex sentence. Waha. Ameto Deklu. Deklu. Are complex or cheat. He got you to all cheat. You will coach a complex compound. Would you go to a chipile? Will have a kibiochi. What a sentence read. Tiniso Bakyo could do it. Lekajai Paribo. The largest. Single sentence of the world is about 300 lines. Remember this 300 lines. Yes. So, <coughs> complex compound sentences are those sentences that have two independent clause and one subordinate clause. Remember, two independent clause join with a coordinate conjunction, make a compound sentence. Thereafter, one subordinate clause will be joined with the compound sentence with the help of a subordinate conjunction. Understood? Kona bujilo, duita sadhana vakyo, duita sadhana vakyo, jodi hobo, ka sahaj jore, gode coordinate conjunction sahaj jore, to shete gode compound vakyo hela, ta pore, gode subordinate conjunction use kari ki, ama gode out of subordinate clause rao eva. To kete da hala, compound bhi hala, complex bhi hala. Bujhi hala? So, it a hoji third type, compound, complex. I hope you enjoy the video. अपने आ मो ट्राई करें जी तो मन को बुझे ही बापाई आ गेमो इज नथिंग गाइस यू सेस कीप वाचिंग एंड आई विल यू नो मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द कंप्लेक्स थिंग व्हाट एवर यू आर थिंकिंग में कंप्लेक्स इट इज डिफिकल्ट नो डोंट विच कैर डोंट विच कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग कीप वाचिंग ओके एंड लास्ट वन कीप लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर ओके बाय बाय फॉर टुडे सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो